If you're playing or watching Valorant, you probably heard about the ongoing discussion regarding their anti-cheat solution Vanguard. I'm surely not gonna recap every aspect and argument of the discussion, but rather like to show some ways to gain back a little more control over what Vanguard is doing. I firstly noticed the power of Vanguard when suddenly the overclock and custom fan curve of my graphics card have been disabled without my consent. It honestly took me a while to find out that Vanguard was blocking the low-level communication between Afterburner and the graphics card driver for whatever reason. A quick workaround was to disable the low-level I.O. driver in Afterburner's menu, though this isn't necessary anymore since Vanguard decided not blocking Afterburner anymore with the recent update. That's definitely a step in the right direction, but many people, including myself, are still not happy about Vanguard starting at boot up. Riot Games seems to hold on to this procedure as they don't quote unquote consider the computer trusted unless the Vanguard driver is loaded at system startup. But fortunately there are ways to prevent Vanguard from running at startup. Now first I'm going to show you the easy way. I've written two short registry scripts that will disable and re-enable the auto start function of Vanguard with a simple double click and admittedly some necessary confirmation dialogues. I've got them linked in the description down below. So let's first confirm that the Vanguard kernel driver is running. VGK is the kernel mode component of Vanguard and is indeed running at the moment. Now using those scripts is pretty straightforward. Double click on disable Vanguard will prevent Vanguard services from starting automatically, which will be effective with the next reboot. So after rebooting we can see that Vanguard did not run at system startup by checking the status of the kernel component again. Unfortunately, Vanguard demands to be running since startup to play Valorant. So manually launching Vanguard after logging into Windows won't be enough. And this is what the Enable Vanguard script is for. It will do the exact opposite of the first script and revert all the changes the first script made. After rebooting, Vanguard will be running a startup again and you can play Valorant. So by using those scripts, Vanguard will be disabled or re-enabled after restarting your machine depending on which script you clicked last. Now I should probably tell you the usual warnings. Running scripts can potentially damage your Windows installation, so run them at your own risk. Therefore it's a good idea to create a restore point before doing anything. Simply type restore point into the search box, select create a restore point and click create. If you rather like to make essentially the same changes the scripts do manually, just follow along. To do this we'll need a program called Autoruns, which is a great tool by Microsoft that lets you see what programs will be auto starting and also prevent them doing so. Think of it as a much more powerful version of that little startup dialog which you can find in your task manager. I leave a link to Autoruns in the video description. Having downloaded Autoruns, the program can be started without installation. Just make sure to right click and run as administrator. Now search for Riot Games and those three entries will show up. Remove all three tick marks to prevent Vanguard from starting at boot. Those changes will be effective after a restart. To revert this, simply set the tick marks again and reboot your computer. Now with a recent update, Riot Games also started allowing to uninstall Vanguard separately. To play Valorant, the anti-cheat solution has of course to be installed again. I personally don't think this is as convenient as the other solutions, but it's also viable. To make uninstalling Vanguard a bit more convenient, Reddit user Rift5844 came up with a little PowerShell script. Running the script starts Valorant and as soon as you close the game, the uninstallation process for Vanguard will start automatically. You can download the script in the description below and I've also included a link to the Reddit thread. Credits to Rift for coming up with this solution. Now after downloading the script, double click to open it in Notepad. Paste the location of your Riot Games folder here, which is G Riot Games for me. Save the file. Execute the script by right click and run with PowerShell. The game will launch just like it would normally. But after closing the game, the uninstallation process for Vanguard is started by the script. In order to play Valorant again, you will of course have to install Vanguard again, which is done automatically by launching the game, though another restart is needed. The time saving is not huge compared to uninstalling Vanguard by the tray icon, but with this method you won't forget to uninstall Vanguard after closing the game. It's also possible to stop Vanguard by using the tray icon. Right click on it and choose Exit Vanguard. 
This will determine Vanguard till the next reboot, but by doing this, Vanguard will be running again as if nothing has happened at all at the next system startup. And as a quick little side note, you can always check the current state of Vanguard by using the command line argument vgk, just as I did a few times during this video. Just click the Windows key plus R, type in cmd and hit enter. Type in scqery and vgk to check the status of Vanguard's kernel mode driver. I hope you found this video useful, consider to subscribe and thanks for watching.